we, we, we got Bill Walden. Um, now, we've been having all of our people from the West Coast or, or the East Coast up to now, but Brother Bill is over in Napa. How are you, Bill? I'm doing great. Glad to be here. Good, great. Cool, cool. So now you are a senior pastor at a Calvary Chapel over in that area, correct? Well, I just finished. Uh, I pastored one church for 27 years, handed it over, and then uh, did another church for two years. My my friend was the pastor, and he went to heaven, and I filled in for two years until okay. they found another pastor. And I just finished that assignment, and uh, I just got also back oh, from okay. Peru on Wednesday. I was there teaching a two week class at a Bible college in Peru. So, and uh, just doing cool. various ministry assignments. Cool. So you're bouncing around where the Lord takes you. That's that's awesome. Yep. So anyway, um, you've got, I see you've got a, a, a keyboard there yes. and you've got some music to share with us. I today. do. Well, I'm going to let you start in and then, uh, you know, we'll chat a little more after that. But why don't you go ahead and start? In 2020, when the pandemic hit, I was uh, in Peru at the Bible College and uh, Peru closed its borders. And so uh, my three week trip turned into a six and a half week trip. Uh, we were in quarantine. And I had a friend who asked me to take a picture of a sunrise there. And uh, the way the sun rose there, we, we never got good pictures. I, there was good sunsets, but not good sunrises. Anyway, um, it made me just think about how you promise people. I said, I, I'll promise to take a picture of a sunrise. Didn't get one, but it just made me think about how often in life we promise or we have intentions to be with people that we love, we care about, friends, family, whoever it might be. And sometimes those things just don't come to pass. You know, during COVID, we, we probably all lost friends to COVID. I had some friends die. But as our friends and family are in Christ, we know that we'll see them again. And um, it's kind of like, I'll just go through life missing them temporarily, but I'll see them again. And uh, so that's what this is about. Um, going through life, remembering those that we love, missing them, but knowing there'll be a great reunion. So. Promised you a sunrise not so long ago, but the sun has gone and set upon our day. So it's probably best that we move on, let the whole thing go. But I will look for you along the way. You'll be traveling with me. In the quiet of my heart, time and distance won't stand in the way. We'll talk about the beautiful things in my Father's world. And we will watch the sun come up one day. I promised you a sunrise up above the clouds. Moment that would take your breath away. A great display of morning light where we could sing out loud. The providence sent you another way. You'll be traveling with me in the quiet of my heart. Time and distance won't stand in the way. Talk about the beautiful things in my father's world. And we will watch the sun come up one day. I promise you a sunrise like the ones I've seen before. When I escape the clamor of the day. But you closed your eyes and left me here. You step through the door, confident that I would find my way. You'll be traveling with me in the quiet of my heart. Time and distance won't stand in the way. We'll talk about the beautiful things in my father's world. We will watch the sun come up one day. You'll be traveling with me 
in the quiet of my heart time and distance won't stand in the way we'll talk about the beautiful things in my father's world we will watch the sun come up one day we will watch the sun come up one day we will watch the sun come up one day lovely thanks yeah, very very nice great <clears throat> so um just to give people a little idea uh what you know what what's what's uh mr bill wallen all about um i'm looking through your bio and you've got a, a pretty long list of different uh things you've done in the world of music uh, several different bands you've been part of over time yeah um before i was a christian did all the clubs and all that nightclubs and all the bar bands and all that stuff uh gave my life back to christ in 1980 very quickly got uh, drafted into a service, musical service, if you will, sang with Undercover for four years, did three albums with them and went up and down the West Coast and had another band in the 80s called The Fourth Watch, did an album with them and another band called The Mirrors at the end of the 80s and the early 90s. And we were like a missionary band. We went to Europe five or six times. We played out of the country actually more than in the country. And uh, that was a great band. Uh, three, three of the guys went on to become pastors in that band. So uh, out of three out of the five became pastors. So it was definitely a ministry band. Since then, um, well, I just released an album this year. It's called Turtle Dub. It's on Spotify. It's just me and piano. Um, I also have a couple other little collections of songs. I re-recorded some of the early undercover stuff and it's called The Early Years. It's on my Spotify channel. And then recently I have a thing called the solo collection and I'm just releasing singles, just me either on guitar or me on piano. And um, just kind of when I have time, just, you know, release another song. So I'm still very involved. Also play a lot of open mics and uh, I live in Napa Valley. So uh, I play in wine bars and um, oh, yeah. it, it's real interesting. You know, some of my songs are obviously Christian as you'll, as you'll hear tonight. Uh, some of them hint at Christianity and I usually start with those and, you know, inevitably people will come up and talk to me and just say, what are you talking about? You know, or they'll say, aren't you a pastor? What are you doing here? Kind of thing. So it's yeah. it, it's a great way to meet people. And I'm currently working with a, some singer songwriters in Napa to, to create a um, kind of a, a singer songwriter collective where we can play uh, once a month. And, um, you know, we're not going to play cover songs. We're just going to do nothing but original. So involved in the music community here in Napa and then obviously leading worship whenever I'm at a church or something like that. So, mm. yeah, that's neat. So yeah, I, I love about the open mics. Um, um, me and my bandmates, uh, we, we've done open mics from time to time, not, not so much lately because, uh, you know, life kind of got busy, but um, <clears throat> and COVID hit, but we would experience the same thing as you. We, we'd go to an open mic and, you know, we'd, you know, we've got songs that are like just, you know, Christian blues. So it's 12 bar, real simple. And, you know, the house band can follow us and we do our thing and right. we throw those songs out there and they would sort of hint at the message or sometimes a little more than hinting, but there wouldn't be real preachy or pushy. Uh, but the, but you know, if people enjoyed the groove of the music, you know, then, you know, they would roll with it. And, you know, these words of, these seeds of truth are maybe being planted, you know, so it's really neat. So it sounds like yeah. that's the same thing you're doing there. It's exactly what I'm doing. I, um, I, I love to get out and play and meet people and build bridges, you know, and if you're, yeah, yeah. you know, if you're good enough with the music, but if also, if also you're respectful of the other musicians and, and applaud them and help them and encourage them, uh, you start making right, friends. Right. I have this whole new community of friends that is is really fun to be with. They're good people, nice That's people, neat. really nice people. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. So you got you got more music for us, Frost? Yeah, yeah. This one is called "Free from Me," and uh, you know sometimes we just kind of get sick and tired of ourselves <laughs> uh, with bad attitudes or whatever else, and uh, so. This is a song about Lord, just kind of help Lord deliver me from me. You know, I know you live inside of me and 
you've given me your Holy Spirit, but uh, it's been one of those days again, or, or whatever the case may be. And um, I just want to be free from that fleshly nature and that carnal nature and don't want it to dominate me. So it's kind of a prayer song like that, a song of determination, you might say so. I will keep on living, try to stay aware that I've been given a life to share. Put away the strife, seek the higher life, that the selfishness may disappear. I want to be free from me. So I can love you wonderfully. I want to love you in a way that you need me to. Without the thought of having to get something back from you. I wonder if I ever will love you that way. I don't mean to sing some confusing thing. It may sometimes seem that my love's not true. But my love is real. I know how I feel. I sincerely want the best for you. I want to be free from me. So I can love you wonderfully. I want to love you in a way that you need me to. Without the thought of having to get something back from you. I wonder if I ever will love you that way. I want to love you that way. Oh, I want to love you that way. There have been those moments, maybe just a few. I've loved without the selfishness. How I love those moments, being there with you when we enjoy the love selflessness I want to be free from me so I can love you wonderfully I want to love you in a way that you need me to without the thought of having to get something back from you I wonder if I ever will love you that way I want to be free from me so I can love you wonderfully I want to love you in the way that you need me to without the thought of having to get something back from you I wonder if I ever will love you that way I want to love you that way. Oh, I want to love you that way. I want to love you that way. Yeah. Oh, I want to love you that way. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thanks. I, I love that message too. Um, it, it resonates with me. Um, <clears throat> this last year, you know, as, as we've had some struggles that we've had to work through here, um, one of the things that I kind of had an awakening to was I needed to get myself out of the way. Um, you know, part, you know, I was mentioning earlier about reading Andrew Murray's works and, and he just, is constantly goes back again and again to abide in Christ, empty yourself, abide in him, let him be there instead of you. Um, yeah. Uh, 
Um, it, it sounds like you're kind of saying the same thing, and I really yeah, needed yeah. to. I needed to take yeah, myself I never, out of the I, way, you know. Yeah, I never regret dying to myself. Uh, I, I never yeah. regret. I never regret following yeah. the Lord, and I often regret yeah. trying to get my own way. So, in fact, that book. Uh, isn't I was. Just, just, isn't, I was. I, w I was just going to say that. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. I'm sorry, you were going to say one other thing there? No, no, I was going to say, I think um, that's, isn't that book entitled Abiding in Christ? Isn't that the name of the book also? Um, well, it's it's one of several. I got in an audio book, okay. a big collection of many, many okay. of his books. It's got yeah. most all of them, except for the Spirit of Christ, I think is not included, but yeah. there's a bunch of others. Yeah, it's great reading. And it may be that one, but even if it's not, I mean, he comes back to that same theme again and again, all through all the books. It's like, that's, that's the central thing. Yeah. You know, yeah, we it, must, it's almost we... like he, he, he doesn't come out and say this in, in this form, in this wording, but it's almost like, you know, Hey, fellow believers, you're making it too complicated. Press into yeah. him, abide in him, stop striving to make it happen. Just let him do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so. We must decrease, he must increase. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, that's one of those things I've known all my life, but I've had to relearn it, you know? So. Yeah, there's no end to it. I mean, as, as long as we're in these bodies of flesh, they, they want to have their way. So it's just, uh, it's a fight until we go yeah. to heaven. So, but it does get better, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It does, it does. Uh, uh, not, not that through any credit of mine. <laughs> All right, you, you have a, you got some more music to share. I'm really loving this. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Um, one, two songs so I can pace myself a little bit. Uh, shall I, how many uh, more? Yeah, I... go. Um, yeah, yeah, go ahead and do two. Okay, good. Well, this song, those first two songs are on my album, Turtle Dove. This one's not. I just released this one as a single. Um, it's called Be a Friend to You. I hope I can remember it. I don't have the words in front of me, but... Um, you know, I, 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 I love deep conversations with people. I, 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 I'm not a big fan of surface talk. I love deep conversation. And sometimes, you know, you meet somebody and you, maybe just they're passing through life and you just think, man, I wish I could really spend time with this person and go deep with them. And it's just not there. But um, so it's kind of, a, it's kind of a, a song about that. So. If things were very different and we had the time I'd like to hear your story and I'd tell you mine We could linger for a while and when the time was through I'd hope to call your friend and be a friend to you Miss Arrow, We could start with verbal niceties to break the ice and move on to other things like love and sacrifice. I suspect that we'd go deep during our rendezvous. Let me call your friend and be a friend to you. But I've no idea if you feel the same. I wear my heart out on my sleeve. It's a crazy game I'd like to enjoy the friends I have Before my time is through I'd like to call your friend And be a friend to you Maybe I should be more careful when I take a dive but talking heart to heart, it makes me feel alive. There's something good about sharing what you're going through. Let me call your friend and be a friend to you. I hope it isn't selfish what you hear me say. And I am well aware that it might sound that way. I'd like to think that my intentions are both good and true. Let me call your friend and be a friend to you. But I have no idea 
little bridge builder song. <laughs> Beautiful. Love it. Love it. There's a cat wagging its tail. That you said that, that's, a more, that, 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 that's a more recent one right there, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, yeah, it's I just released it a month or two ago, something like that. Yeah, it's 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 yeah. newer. Yeah. Are, are you, are you, is it just going to be a single? Or are you going to put it on an album at some point? You know, I, I think artistically, um, I mean, pastoring is my main gig and I and I'm busy with things and so and artistically it seems like I get so I can't finish an album it's just like I just I'm like musically ADD kind of so I, I know the feeling and, yeah, and I'm a, like, I procrastinate and I'm too perfectionist yeah yeah I mean I released one album full length fully produced album in 2018 but it took five years and it's like I just yeah you know, I'm just when when I when I have time, I'll knock it out and put it out there. So, anyway, yeah. um, well, well, I, I'm gonna... I know that feeling. I've struggled. Per... I, I have the same struggle. You know, both solo stuff and stuff with a band. The band's got an entire CD's worth of stuff that's just got to be post produced. And yeah, I've got. And it's been yeah. I mean, there, besides right? besides the solo stuff I have, I also have a a full album of band music that's mostly written and mostly recorded but anyway yeah well, um, anyway so you got one more tune to share with us I, right? yeah i do have one more song this one this song is called i know right where you are and it's about a friend of mine uh we were friends for 35 years um christian christian guy uh we were neighbors when we were when we he and he and his wife and me and my wife we were neighbors when we were early early in our marriage our kids grew up together and uh, we did all kinds of things together um long story short he went into the hospital to to have some shoulder surgery and they really uh made a lot of mistakes and he got spinal fluid uh infection and he came out of the hospital as a paraplegic and um mm. so it, the, the hospital really blew it with him and, wow. and basically it ended up killing him his daughter had a heart condition and had a pacemaker and the doctor told her, you're healthy enough, you can take the pacemaker out. So she had it removed and then she died of a heart attack before he died. And uh, it's just this tragedy on wow. tragedy, but his, his faith was so strong. He never, he never wavered. And so uh, his daughter's name was Amanda and I sing about her in the song and his name is Jim and um, uh, I called, it's a long story, I won't get into it, but I, I called him Buddy and he called me Clarence. So there's a, that's a whole another story, won't, won't take the time to tell that. But uh, um, anyway, so bottom line is I know he's, him, and Amanda, him and Amanda are in heaven and I will see them again and his wife and his son and grandkids mm -hmm. will see them. And, you know, so this is a song for him. So here we go. Let's see here. Yeah. Yeah. 
your buddy, your Clarence. I remember the day that we gave each other those names. I was cautious, you were daring. And after I met you, life was never going to be the same. You were two doors down and you became a friend for life. We both knew God had given us good wives. And we did the best we could, praying our kids would turn out good. Well, your wife is strong, your son's hanging on family's doing fine and I know right where you are you're with Jesus I know right where you are you're with Amanda too I know right where you are you took wings and flew away we are gonna be with you we are gonna be with you there right where you are but that was a big mistake buddy jim that's what we called you you always had an encouraging word to say life for you it was never easy had to push uphill, but you kept pushing every day. For 35 years, our friendship stayed the same. We laughed about life and we laughed about aches and pains. But suddenly it wasn't fair, because you were hurting everywhere. But your faith stayed strong and you held on. Now you're dancing way up there And I know right where you are You're with Jesus I know right where you are You're with Amanda too I know right where you are You took wings and flew away We are gonna be with you We are gonna be with you there right where you are can you give me just one hint of what you see can you tell me what it's like to finally be free the first things you saw and heard are the words that can describe well the suffering's done the victory's won Mortality swallowed up by life. I know right where you are, you're with Jesus. I know right where you are, you're with Amanda too. I know right where you are. You took wings and flew away. We are going to be with you. We are going to be with you. And I know right where you are. You're with Jesus. I know right where you are. You're with Amanda too. I know right where you are. You took wings and flew away. We are going to be with you. We are going to be with you. We are going to be with you. Hey, buddy, going to be with you. We are going to be with you. Hey, Jim, we're going to be with you. There right where you are. That's the hope we have. Amen. Beautiful. Thanks. Good piece of work. Folks, uh, give some love for Bill Walden. Thanks, everybody. Open Napa, folks. And, yeah. Uh, as always, uh, you know, put your contact information in the comments. And of course, we'll share it out to Facebook. Thank yeah. Thank you so much for coming out. Some lovely stuff. Yeah. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. Thank you. I appreciate it. All righty.